Welcome to the Austin Method, where we help you develop the skills of square dance. This is 106 Do Si Do. As usual, we're going to start with the definition. So the definition's a little complicated, but you've all seen Bugs Bunny do it. Throw your elbows up, go around back to back, and come back to face your partner. So let's just show you that real quick. Here we go. Back to back. Tamination's the animator here, doesn't show it very smoothly, and a lot of dancers don't dance it very smoothly. So we're going to show you a little tip here to make it a whole lot smoother. Notice the timing on this is six steps or six beats. In square dancing, we hardly ever teach people the method to get around, and we leave it to them to discover what's smoothest. This does involve steps. Most of square dancing does not, and you do not have to do do -si do this way, but we find it is a little smoother. Facing another dancer, so you will step outside the person you're facing with your left foot because you're passing right shoulder. So the first step is a left, the next step is a right and back to end up back to back. The third step is the tricky part. You're bringing your left foot in, changing weight to free up your right foot, which steps back to put you side by side with the dancer that you're dosa doing with. And then you step back with the last two steps to be face to face. So we'll do it a little bit quicker. Dosa do, left, right, left, change weight, right, left, bring your foot back. One thing to think about with dosado, most people imagine they need to get around the dancer in front of them. What they tend to forget is that that dancer is also moving. So you only need to go half as far as you think you need to go because they're coming towards you at the same rate. It's not as far as you think it is, Dancers, do si do. Do si do again. Going to the statistics, the number of beats is six plus. That takes into account the starting position of the dancers. It is not gender specific. Girl dancers and the boy dancers do the same thing. Frame, it's only important that you let go of your partner so that you can get around the other dancer. Flow is not affected by this. In fact, dosado -do is often used to neutralize flow before the next call, which is sometimes its purpose in the choreography. It is exact in that it is back to back. It's a little fuzzy in that you're free to do it any way you want. There are some flourishes you might see on the floor around this. Flourishes are fancy ways of doing things. We're not going to get into those here. Dosado, -do, by the way, means back to back in French. Before we go to the demonstration of the dance sequence, I just want to remind you that if you want to practice the dance sequences, we have videos of just the dance sequences as well as mp3s to practice doing the dance sequence with. Uh, the mp3s are available on our website as well as the dance sequence only videos are available there and the dance sequence only videos are available on our YouTube channel. So check those out. Here's Jack and Jane with the demonstration of the dance sequence. 106 do si do Bow to your partner. Face your partner. Do sa do. Do sa do. Do sa do. Face in. And you should be home. Thank you for visiting the Austin Method. We hope to see you on the dance floor soon.